RacerX fans, I am Chris Kiefer. It's gonna be a little bit weird for me to say this, but I am with RacerX Films and we are out here at Palmdale, California, lovely high desert. It's from my heart. LACR, the 2020 Liat Media Introduction. I'm here with Todd Repture. He told me to call him just Todd, but Sir Todd Repture. And he is the general manager of Liat. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the 4.5 and the 5.5 velocity goggle. And of course, the brand new boot that's right Black so we're here that's specifically a little close to my heart as well I have a little bit of testing uh, progress on that for about a year now so uh, first things first starting with the 4.5 and the 5.5 velocity goggle I guess tell the people at home give them a little bit of background about the lens technology because that's actually pretty cool so for starters it starts off with a 2.7 millimeter uh, bulletproof spec lens and so it's a uh, the military bulletproof spec but also it exceeds that bullet spec um, at much greater we've actually tested it it's online and we've tested it a bunch with uh, a 22 short which is uh, how close can you get we shoot them point blank oh, okay yeah we have uh, the our if you look at our YouTube uh, the video is about two and a half feet away and uh, the fear is though they bounce back <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that happening so um, so basically and you have different types of uh, lenses correct correct so there's uh, one one lens in many different colors, 17 different uh, shades and colors and uh, VLT measurements, but it, they fit every goggle we make. So we have the 6.5 goggle that we introduced last March, and then uh, today we're here introducing the 5.5 goggle and then the 4.5 goggle. And the tear-offs, the lenses, they're all interchangeable. All of the goggles are OTG. Um, if any of our goggles with outriggers, uh, fit the outriggers. Uh, the, they will uh, fit the roll-off system inside the outriggers, and so it's a very kind of user-friendly and dealer-friendly. Where if a person gets on these goggles and starts using them, they can get parts at dealers. It's not this uh, seven different lens type thing. So you're not scrambling all over the town trying to find a lens for your Liat goggle. Basically, one is it for all the line. If they sell it, they have it. Yeah. What's the pri price point on these suckers? So uh, all the way down from 39 with a clear lens. Uh, the 4.5 goggle would be 39 with a clear, 49 with a mirrored lens. Uh, the 5.5 goggle would be 49 with a clear or a transparent, a non-mirrored lens, and then 59 with a mirrored lens. And of course, I get a lot of uh, people asking me, uh, laminated tear-offs? Yes. Yes, laminated tear-offs fit all of them interchangeably. Uh, Non-laminated tear-offs, like we said, the roll-off system fits any of them with a uh, outrigger, so 6.5, 5.5. Um, we're going to be, uh, so this was like our first day really in this stuff. So um, we're going to put these things to the test, ride a hell of a lot, and we're going to throw up a review online and get back to you guys and uh, really dive deep in these suckers. All right, so one of the unique features is the flex lock system. So Todd, break it down. So your body comes equipped with uh, mechanisms that help prevent injury. And uh, the ankle being one of them. However, if you push the ankle too far, you can sprain it, uh, you can roll it, or you could actually break your ankle. So um, the Biomed team worked on a system, and the FlexLock is a system that allows the normal range of motion of your ankle to absorb impacts and energy so that all the energy doesn't transfer through your lower leg and up into your knee. But the FlexLock helps it lock out when you go, so you won't go too far and prevent injury. So the flex lock can provide a 35% reduction in ankle forces for, from impact and a 37% reduction in knee forces. So basically when you take an impact, you over jump, you, you know, any of these type of high impact thing, the energy has to go somewhere. And so it's an interesting system where the boot can help reduce knee and kind of tib fib ankle type area injuries. And for me as a rider, it's important because Look at we're not all professional racers. We're gonna under jump, over jump, 
Today at LACR, it's very fast. Um, I've actually overjumped quite a few jumps today <laughs> myself. So um, one of the first things that I noticed when I started testing this thing was how much feel I have. So, um, yeah, explain that, that to them. A lot of that comes from the bottom of the foot form. There's a carve out area so you can really feel and that helps the feel get through the bottom of the sole. So the steel shank is actually abbreviated. You don't need it to go out the way out, out on here. And if you ride on the balls of your feet or you want to feel your pegs, this really helps with the feel. So. And for you guys out there, yeah, there is still a break in period. Obviously you're not going to just hop on these things and you're going to be like, oh, it's magic. I can feel things right away. But it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like within, I would say, I was here two hours today. Within 40 minutes, man, I was uh, able to feel my shifter and, of course, my brake pedal. So, um, and also another thing I really like right here. Yeah. Flat. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I think everyone really likes is the incredibly grippy, rubbery, grippy, and just incredibly flat inner. You see this boot, what has been ridden in maybe a half an hour? And yeah. uh, obviously, it, it, the rider was really squeezing. There's aluminum from the frame on it. It's just, it, you know, the riders enjoy that grip. Yeah. So... I have a pair of these in my garage that have gone through the ringer yes. and uh, things that I always go through is soles and I like that this sole, the grippy part here and, and other, if you guys can see this at home, it goes all the way up. Yep. Usually sometimes down here yeah. the, in other brands you got about this piece and that's it. So. so this is also to accommodate kind of the guys who want to ride on their toes, kind of the off road type guys yep. and in and, and some corner situations. So combination of grip, but then also with the feel. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, but it's also incredibly durable. So it's a kind of best of both. Yeah. Best of both worlds. So we're going to continue to ride with these things. We're going to get back to you guys out there in the homeland over there and talked about how durable these things are, uh, the ins and outs. And of course, you can go to racerxonline.com and get some more information. But if you guys have any questions about this boot or the goggle, chris at keyforingtesting.com. I'm happy to answer them for you. And uh, you stay tuned for more. Start. Yeah, and I've been in for uh, a year. A year. A year. <laughs> yeah. So they're like a, a little little piece of me right here. So um, thanks for having us, man. Well, thanks. Thanks for coming. You didn't even get to ride today. I know. I'm working. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. See you.